everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jules. Today I'm gonna to be talking about my April favorites. I cannot believe another month has already gone by. I feel like I just did my March favorites, seriously. With everything going on, I cannot believe that it still flew by so quickly. And maybe that's because I'm still working, I don't know. I will say that I don't have a huge list of favorites just because I don't feel like I've tried out a whole bunch of new things this month but I am gonna be showing you what I've been reaching for all month long. And I've got a couple of new items in here. So if you're interested to see what my favorites are for this month, go ahead and keep on watching. All right guys, I have a pile of makeup and I have a pile of things that are not makeup. So I'm gonna start with the makeup because I'm just partial to makeup. So first I'm gonna start off with a serum that I've been using a lot in conjunction with a foundation that I've been loving. So this is a serum that I tried out in a Get Ready With Me a month, month and a half ago maybe. This one's by Wet n Wild. This is the Prime Focus Prime Serum. This is a hydrating serum that I have been loving to use all over my face. It dries down to a semi tacky finish that allows the foundation to adhere to the primer and at the same time it's giving you that hydration that I know my skin has been craving. So this one has been one of my go-to's for the month. I do wear makeup when I go to work and then the only other times that I do makeup is really when I'm filming videos or if I've got a video call or something like that that I'm doing. So I haven't been wearing a whole lot of makeup. But the times that I do, this has been one of my go-to serums and so I wanted to feature it. Um, it appears kind of milky in the bottle there and it's kind of a weird, I mean it's, it's the consistency that you would think of when you think of a serum. So anyway, very cost efficient and I've been loving it. So in conjunction with that serum, I do have a video that's going to be coming out. The way that I film my videos was kind of all over the place before I knew it, it was time to do favorites. And so this video won't be coming out until after this video. But um, I did feature a couple of products from this number seven line at the drugstore. You can also find this at Ulta Beauty. This was recommended to me by my friend Anna, who also has a channel here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below. Uh, we also did a collaboration video earlier this month called Forget Me Nots. She recommended this to me. We actually do work together as well. And a lot of the times, depending on the given circumstances, we may have to be outside for prolonged periods of time. And so sunblock is important to both of us. And so she had tried this one out recently and recommended it for me because it is a foundation that has a 50 plus sunblock in it. So, so convenient. And I felt like the added sunblock was really nice in a foundation. So if you wanted to skip that sunblock step before the foundation, you could. But then I always question how much sunblock there really is in a tube like this when, when it's mixed with the foundation. So I like to have that layer of sunblock on underneath this as well. But I don't want to give too much away about this foundation because like I said, I am going to be featuring it in an upcoming video. But I will say that this does not have that white or blue cast that our darker skin girls are worried about when we put sunscreen on our face and it's so lightweight and just beautiful. So that's all I'm gonna say, but this is one of my favorites for the month. Be looking out for that video, it's gonna come out real soon. So in conjunction with that foundation, I've been using this powder from number seven. It comes in this container right here, and it is a finishing powder that goes along with that foundation. So I have been loving to pair this along with that foundation as well. So a really nice finishing powder that's also at the drugstore or Ulta. Um, it's not super, super inexpensive, but it's not really expensive either. It's kind of in between. So these two products I've really been loving. I've been wearing this pretty much every time I go to work. And so I've been loving those two together. And again, it's going to be in a video soon. Another foundation that I have been reaching for from last year is my Tarte Face Tape. I brought this one back out because the tone, I think, is perfect for my skin tone right now. And it is an overall beautiful foundation. It, it has a nice full coverage finish without it looking real heavy or makeup-y. And it just gives a really beautiful finish to the skin. I've been wearing this a lot in my videos. 
and I've really been loving it. So I wanted to feature it again here. Really, really nice foundation. Okay, some face products that I've also been reaching for is this one from NARS. This is a blush that I've had in my collection forever, but I recently brought it back for my Forget Me Nots video and I just ended up using it all month because I forgot how great it was. This one is Taj Mahal in the NARS Powder Blush. Mine is very loved, as you can see right here, but that tone is so, so beautiful, especially if you are similar in skin tone to me. This is such a beautiful color on skin tones such as mine or darker. This one was specifically made for Naomi Campbell, so if you are along the lines of her skin tone or mine, you will love this. If you're looking for a new blush for summer or spring, this is so perfect. Here is the swatch on my finger right here. And then I'm just gonna swatch it for you right here. Look at how beautiful that is. And I have it on today. It doesn't look uh, as pigmented when you apply it as the blush, but I think it just looks beautiful on the skin. I wasn't too bummed about not being able to pick up the Fenty Cream Blush in Fuego because it's very similar in tone to this one. So since I have this one already in my collection, I just broke it out and started using it. I had already started using it for that Forget Me Nots video and I have just been loving it. So I'm sure that this is going to stick around for a while. And then also from NARS, you guys know that I've been loving my NARS Matte Blush in Samoa. I've been wearing this pretty much every day. Still love it. Amazing formula, amazing tone for my skin tone. I absolutely love this. Okay, this is a highlighter that is not new, but I recently broke it back out again. This is by Becca. It's relatively new. Here's the packaging for it. This one is called Pure Pearl and it just has that beautiful lit from within glow for your skin. These are the types of highlighters that I've been loving recently. It's not the real blinding ones, it's those subtle hints of glow that I've really been loving that really just enhances the skin and just makes it look beautiful. So this one I've been using a lot this month as well. The mascara that I featured last month, the Lash Brag by Anastasia Beverly Hills, this one I've been loving still loving. It has the drama. It separates the lashes, lengthens them, volumizes them, everything you'd want in a mascara. This is so, so beautiful, so nice. I have the mini here and I love it. So if you've been watching me, you know that I pulled this out recently. Again, this is by Becca. This is the under eye brightening corrector for medium to deep skin tones. I've been loving this, just to pop a little bit of this underneath my concealer. I feel like it really brightens the under eye area. I think when I first started using this, I was maybe using too much. So I think just applying a thin layer underneath the concealer really does a good job of brightening and doing a little bit of color correcting without it looking heavy or creasing. So I've really been using that all month and really just trying to take out products that I have in my collection and trying to get more use out of it. So just pulling different things out and using it for different months. So that's what I've been trying to do because I have so much product that just sits there. So anyway, that was a favorite that I rediscovered from pulling it out again. So a brush that I have really been loving to apply my bronzer is this one from MAC. It is the 140 SES and it's kind of a, it's a fan brush, but it's thicker and super soft. And so this I've been loving for bronzer. It disperses that color beautifully, not too harshly, and it allows me to blend it into the skin easily for a beautiful bronzed look and a little bit of contouring as well. So this is another one that I had in my collection. It was from a gift that I picked up from Christmas and I had never used it. So I took it out and used it and ended up loving it. So you guys know that I love my new lash and I use that on a daily basis every night to grow my lashes, fill them in, and keep them looking full and long. Well, Skin Research Laboratories recently sent me out a new lash and a new brow to try. So thankful to them for sending me those products out to try because I already love the new lash. Um, the new brow was one that I had not tried yet and so I've been using this for a little over a month and I have already been seeing a difference in my brows. Um, when I don't have product on my brows, I can see that I do have a lot of hair growth in and around my brows. 
So I'm really excited to see what the end result of this is going to be. But I did want to mention that this is something I've been using twice a day, morning and night as recommended. And I've been seeing a drastic difference in my brows. I'm really excited to see what another month's worth of this will do for my brows. So let's talk about nails really quick. Of course, the nail salons are still closed. I wasn't the type to go and get my nails done like that, but I did a, a while ago find some alternatives that I could do at home. I did used to have the gel nails or the tips or whatever, but I just got tired of going and sitting at the salon and spending money to do that. So I started just doing my nails at home. Now I don't always have my nails done, but whenever I think of it, I do try to do them. So especially now, I know people are looking for alternatives, so I did wanna mention a new nail polish that I recently started trying, and these are by LA Girl. I don't know if these are new to the line or if they've already had these in existence, but I saw these at Target. So here's the one that I have on today. This is by LA Girl, like I said, this is the Gel Extreme Shine Gel-like polish. It says no UV is needed for this. This is what I have on my nails today. And this is the second time that I have worn this shade. And I think that it looks beautiful. I think that it was, it was fairly easy to do and they dried fairly quickly. Now, this time, last time I used it, I did not use a top coat because this, this formula doesn't come with a top coat. Now, the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel System does come with a top coat, so I did use that one today. Um, so I wanna see if it prolongs the life of these nails. These lasted about three days the last time that I used the polish, so I wanna see if by using this, it prolongs it a little longer. So I did pick up one more color in the gel, and then LA Girl also has a, another line that's called Color Pop. This is in the shade White. My daughter wanted white for her toes, so I did pick this up for her, and she has used this a few times, and she loves it. And then I, do, I did wanna point out the Sally Hansen gel system as well. Um, you saw where I showed you the top coat for this one. I also have a few different shades in that one too. I have this pretty coral and then this pinky one that's kind of what I have on my nails. And then I have this bright orange and this pretty purple. That Sally Hansen gel system works really nicely. It's really easy to use, dries pretty quickly, and it lasts for a few days if you're looking for it. Now, my friend Anna did say that she was looking for that system and couldn't find it anywhere. I think everyone has bought it up because of what we're going through right now. Another one that I have tried is this one by Sally Hansen. This is the Insta Dry. And for some reason, this did not dry quickly when I used it. As a matter of fact, I sat there for quite a while not touching anything. And then, you know, after I had sat there for about an hour not doing anything, I got up and slowly started doing things with my hands and I got all kinds of dents in them, creases, hours later. So I don't know what the trick to this is. If you know what it is, please let me know because this did not work for me. But anyway, I did wanna just put that out there in case you were looking for nail polishes or just something to get you through this time. I think that these LA Girl ones are really nice and they're relatively cost efficient. The Pop one was $2.99, I wanna say, and then the gel system was $3.99 a piece. All right, guys, like I said, this one was going to be a short one because I didn't have a huge list of items, but I am trying a whole lot of new items out, so I do expect to have quite a few next month. So I hope you enjoyed this month's favorites. If you enjoy videos like these, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you leave. And as always, I love you guys. Be blessed, and I will see you in the very next one. Bye.